Welcome to Billy Pistro Golf and today I want to go over what is it when I swing? What do I use? Is it all arms? Is it all shoulders? Am I trying to clear my hips, shift my weight? There's many different things that we can think about in order to make the club move. Uh, what I'm going to tell you right now is that your hands are connected to the club and, and control the face. So it starts with your hands. It's not just one thing. It's your hands, it's your arms, it's your shoulders. There's forces in your feet, so there's all kinds of things. There's a lot of things that are happening in the in the golf swing that make it really dynamic. So let me put it as simple as possible. This is my swing circle here. So what we're trying to do is make sure that the golf club is swinging on this circle. Um, if we overuse one part or another, my swing circle can go over to the right or left, and it makes it hard to control the face. So the first thing that we have to do is make sure that our grip is right so the club will, the club face is controllable with your hands. So again, with my lead hand, to make the grip simple, how it hangs, that's how my lead hand goes on the club. And then when I get into impact this way, I go on the side. So that's how my hand gets on the side of the club, okay? So now with my right hand on the, on the side of the club, that's able to control the face. So that's the first place that we have to start, is in your hands. So that controls the face. Now, my arms are gonna start to control my body and that moves my shoulders. So it's not one thing, it's all of them. So if I held the, if I held the golf club up this way and I swung the club back, as my hands and arms, see how they move in sequence. It's just not my, it's just not my wrists and it's just not my arms and it's just not my shoulders. So it's all of them moving in sequence. So we're, they're all moving the golf club in, in a sequence. So as, as my hands move and my arms move, that turns my shoulders, that shifts my weight. So it's, it's about me moving the club and my body responding to it. Now, later in other videos, we'll get into the specifics of it. But the first thing I'd like you to do is, is hold the golf club up this way, let the club move and feel how it pulls on your shoulders, feel how it shifts your weight and on the way through as the club swings through it pulls me left and clears my shoulders so now all we're going to do is bend over get in our right posture in grip position and as the club moves back see it makes my shoulders move and it makes my weight turn okay so when i get back here and i swing back down my weight goes to the other side so again it would almost be like if I had to move a box from one, one table to the other. It wouldn't be just my arms, it wouldn't be my shoulders. As I move the box from one table to the other, my body moves along with it. So, again, try to feel the, the head of the golf club when you swing, and as you move, the golf club will move, move your body for you. So again, it's everything, it's not just one thing. So make sure the golf club is moving, and moving. So again, that's why I, I work with tension and keeping things free so the dynamic balance of all the things happening can work. So it's not just one thing or the other. Try this at home. Get the club swinging up in front of you. Feel how the club is making your body move instead of your body motion pulling the club everywhere. Do this and I know it'll help.